Supplying the world with electricity and gas is a tricky business with countless miles of infrastructure networks that need to be kept safe and functioning around the clock. U.S. consultants ECI are leading the way with revolutionary technology that not only tackles the challenges safely and effectively, but puts sustainability and environmental care at the heart of its innovations. I'm Andrew Wilson, and I'm in Davos ahead of the World Economic Forum to talk to ECI about the unsung challenges behind keeping the lights on. So, Scott and Chuck, good to talk to you. Thanks for joining us. First of all, ECI works in such a particular field. Give us an idea what it is your clients hire you to do. Right. So we work in the electric utility industry, um, helping utilities manage the millions and millions of miles of, uh, of transmission and distribution lines around the world. Um, the, the importance of managing that is really critical to uh, grid security, um, maintaining reliable power to our clients and their customers. Um, we do that by managing the vegetation and the assets um, themselves, so the structures as well as the, the surrounding vegetation. And it's fair to say that you guys collectively have been doing this quite a long time. Yeah, so nearly 50 years. It's been a legacy of, uh, of our company. We're one of the first in the industry to really provide this type of service. Uh, started out with designing plans for utilities to help them more effectively manage their vegetation. That evolved into implementation services, so then they needed people to help them actually in the field, boots on the ground. So we have nearly 450 employees in the field helping uh, actually implement the programs that have been developed. Um, then finally, what we've done is really help improve that by bringing technology really within the last five years, we've, we've acquired and, and developed the domain expertise to bring technologies such as remote sensing and software to really help improve both the design and implementation of vegetation and asset management. And all that is critical, it's what you call digital corridor management, and that involves your product LiDAR, is that right? Yes, it includes LiDAR, and the LiDAR is used to measure uh, the, the clearance between wires and trees along the, the network. LiDAR provides a digital twin of the network to, be able to enable us to do that efficiently and effectively. Um, but LiDAR is only part of the solution. We, we also utilize high resolution imagery, combine that together with cloud computing, advanced analytics, artificial intelligence and machine learning, strong visualization software, and, and truly the expertise of our staff to really understand where the risk is along the network. And just wh while we're talking about that, and all that makes life a lot easier for the poor helicopter pilot who for years has been droning up and down the lines making sure everything's fine. Well, not only is it difficult for a helicopter inspector to understand the condition of the network, it's also inherently not a safe environment. Using the technology, uh, the remote sensing technology that we're, we're introducing to the market, uh, we're able to provide a safer solution that's more effective, uh, more accurate, and, and more efficient. Yeah, and if I could just add to that, you know, every year people die doing those inspections. And, it, and it's one of the tragedies that we really believe can be avoided by moving to a digital platform. And, and I think the time is right. The technology is there. As Scott mentioned, the LiDAR, it's such a fundamental technology. But when you think about a step change in any industry, you have to have confidence that the base technology is, is accurate. And that's really why LiDAR is so critical to moving forward in a, in a significant way, is the industry now understands the power and the accuracy of LiDAR is unquestioned at this point. So give me an example of the downside of mismanaging the kind of vegetation encroachment on utilities. Well, you know, maintaining the electrical infrastructure is critical to every utility out there. Maintaining a reliable supply of energy, it really affects the consumers and the businesses in the world. In fact, in the U.S., if you look at the cost of outages, um, just in the U.S. alone, we estimate to be $100 billion a year for outages. A failure to maintain the infrastructure has huge economic and, and social impacts. Um, one example is that one tree that that contacted a line in, uh, along a transmission line in Ohio in, in 2003 caused outages for 55 million customers. Also, we've seen the impact of uh, utility-caused wild, wildfires in California and in Australia, which has a huge and, and significant impact. So maintaining reliability is critical to the utility mission, and the solution that we're providing here at ECI really supports that mission. And you have, a, you have a mix of backgrounds here. I mean, Chuck, your background is forestry, yours is technology. The culture together is what you're, you're hoping is the, the, the effective way forward. Right. So we, we, we feel like um, how we've differentiated our company is really having deep domain expertise. We have been in the industry, as I said, nearly 50 years. 
Um, having the, you know, working with hundreds of utilities to understand what kind of problems they, they really need to solve. Having the technology domain expertise as well. But underlaying that is, is an incredible culture that we've created at ECI that really embraces technology. And so from that, we think our advantage is really sustainable innovation. And so uh, that's what we're really proud about, how we've assembled both these expert, all these expertise in, in the right way. I mean, that's crucial, isn't it? Because anyone can bulldoze a whole forest just to make sure the electric lines are OK. But there's an element of sustainability that we need to pursue going forward. Yeah, it's so important, you know, with the climate change and all the impacts of, of beetles and disease and, and uh, you know, this, the increase in storm events. Managing that infrastructure and, and the risks around it are certainly important. Um, but there's an environmental benefit to being able to remove fewer trees uh, in, the, in the case of vegetation, do that more effectively, leverage the power of the technology to do that. Um, if we do that well, we can actually increase um, sequestered carbon on the right of way by having more vegetation that doesn't impact re regulatory compliance or reliability. Um, and so we really think the, the advantage of using technology is, is certainly it's time it has come. So looking ahead with the marriage of this technology and expertise and all these issues confronting all our different countries around the world in terms of power, sustainability, infrastructure, how would you like to see yourselves being applied over the next couple of decades? Well, it's a solution that we're calling digital corridor management. We, we believe bringing together the technology and expertise that we have within ECI provides an end-to-end solution for our customers. The digital corridor management uh, solution that we're talking about, or DCM, is really made up of three components. The first being plan. Um, we're able to create work plans that specifically target the, the areas that, along the network that provide the highest risk and have those mitigated. As Chuck mentioned, there's more work to do than there are people to do it, so we have to be very targeted in how we do that. We also have a part of the module called inspect, and inspect is looking at the assets, as Chuck mentioned as well, understanding where the broken cross arms are or the rotted poles are and deal, dealing with those specifically. And then finally, we have to ensure that, that the work is done properly. So the last part of the module is called audit. And audit lets us to look at the work that has been done and to ensure that it's been done properly and the risk that has been identified has been, been mitigated properly. Final thought, yeah, there's a lot of new competence coming into the work that you do and that clearly has effective applications down the line. What's your vision for the next 10, 20 years for ECI? Right, so you know, we see the evolution and have been part of the evolution um, so far, and we think we're ready to take another step change in the industry, going from enabling technologies to solutions, which is really where the state of the industry is today, to more of a service-based approach. We really want to focus on the problems that they need solved. Let us as experts understanding the domain, uh, both technology and the, the uh, domain that we operate in, understand which technologies can help solve that problem rather than having the utility have to figure all that out because it's really getting complex. Uh, the complexity has a lot of advantages um, if it's applied properly. And, um, but we think that's part of our role is to really help sort out that and, and really help uh, facilitate the movement of that into a service. So as we um, look forward, we really think we can change the world by moving to a service-based approach with digital corridor management. Chuck and Scott, thanks very much indeed. Good Thank talking you. to you.